Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here trying to get the Vampire Asterisk. Now, I've got a lot to talk about because there was a little bit of time between last episode and this episode. Mainly just a whole bunch of grinding. So, let me guys get you caught up. So, Agnes and Tiz are now both monks. I got Tiz all the way to Mastery level 14. So, both of them now have the natural talent um, ability. So, basically, that means... If we take everything off of them, it gives them a crazy amount of attack damage, so that's super cool. Um, let's see. I don't think any of this is new. I think this is a new item that I found in the Vampire Castle that I equipped to her. Oh, one big thing. Everyone is level 71. The last time you saw it, last episode, I think I was like 62. So, a very, very, very large uh, level spike here because I felt super, super weak. Um, so going into the vampire, I do want a pretty large level, and I went ahead and did that. Um, I guess I could play around with some of these, but I'm just not going to do that now. And then the only other thing that I wanted to do here was, I guess, look at the equipment. I don't think any of this will now help. Honestly, <sighs> um, ooh, that retains a freelancer look. Huh. Huh. Let's see, if I, if I wanted to keep Tiz or Agnes or any of them as normal, I could do that. But the things that I wanted to buy... Oh, because of all that fighting, getting to level, I have 800,000 PP. So I'm going to go ahead and buy these two Onions shirt because I just wanted to see what they looked like. They're super expensive and, you know, I just wanted to see. So let's take a look. Ooh. Okay, that's fancy. What about this? Oh, it's just a classic onion shirt. Okay. That's kind of fancy. And I know I'm like totally wasting a whole bunch of money here. I kind of want ring -a bell in his normal suit. Let me see. Can I put him in the... I want to put him in the normal suit because I don't really like that. Honestly, I think that's way cooler. Just keeping Rigo Bell as an, as origi in as an original. Okay, let's go ahead and do a quick save, and then let's go ahead and fight the vampire, huh? Um, like I said, I'm level 71 now. If I'm not strong enough now, I commend you for. I don't know when I ever will be. Far. Oh, no more paintings. The final painting lies beyond this throne. I shall reveal it to you if you defeat me in battle. What? The last test is a test of strength. I shall only reveal the painting to those whom I deem worthy. One might also say that there is no need for those who are unworthy to lay their eyes upon it. But be forewarned, I am a formidable foe. I trust you are well prepared. Let's do it. Okay. So, again... I'm pretty leveled up now, but I still don't know if I'm going to be strong enough, so... Okay. Hey, that was a good fight, though. So that's what we need to keep track of. So let's slow this down. Let's slow this down and see what we can do here. So... Default. 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 Default here. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's fine. Not the worst thing he could do. Do a Kirata and default again. Okay, that's fine there. Okay, we can do three pressure points here. And then what we can do is let's go ahead and put a Rampart on. Default. And with a Dia, we can do the Holy Weapon here. That's... Okay, so right now we're at about 30,000. 30,000, and we've got Rampart on everyone but Tiz. So we just have to keep track of this. Right now we're at 30,000. Okay, that didn't do anything. Fair enough, though. Um, we can... Mm, honestly, it might be better to default for now, in case he does get hit. Ooh, Divine Light. This will hit him for a lot. Let's just hit him with a few here. Hit him with that, hit him with that, and then hit him with that. Okay, all of them do about the same amount of damage, so no discrimination there. What is he at right now? I forgot, like 40? 
40? I'm just gonna guess 40. Okay, now he's at 50. 50. Okay, that's fine. That KO'd her, which is slightly annoying. Let's arise on, yes. Actually, no, let's not arise. Let's just do a Phoenix since we're gonna do the Kira anyway. Kira. That's default here. Mmm, Bone Crush is not good. Okay, now we need to get Tiz up, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do Potion. No, 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 no. We're gonna do that, and then we're gonna do a Kiraga. Okay. Okay, now Anyas is dead. So let's go ahead and uh, put a Rampart. No. Yeah, let's put a Rampart up. Once again, we're gonna have to do the same charade. I just need him. Oop. I need him to not kill us for a single turn here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're we're good now. Okay, all of us have rampart up. He's not he's not been using the move that protects me from rampart, which is slightly annoying. Okay, that's gonna okay missed. Oh, okay. No, everyone still has their rampart up, so. Keep battle first. Okay, that's good. It's exactly what I need. Let's keep using the Kiragas here. Perfect. That's what I need. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Let's go ahead and default. Let's put up another Rampart. Okay, so right now he's still at 50,000. Still at 50,000. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we can do another three pressure points here. Probably even do one pressure point from Tiz. Let's do a Kirada. Okay, so right now, what is he at? 50,000? I'm just gonna say 50,000. I already forgot. Okay, so that's... Um, okay, 50,000 now. That's 60, 70, 80... 90. Okay, so he's at 90, so I'm gonna need six more hits. Let's go ahead and default. Default everyone. I just need him to really to not kill Agnes. Okay. Um who doesn't have rampart on them? Looks like no one else. So let's just do that. Let's do a Kiraga. We're playing serious now. Ooh. Okay. Oh, nobody died. How perfect is that? Okay. Okay, we can default here. Let's just default again. I think we'll be fine. That's perfect. Okay, so what? He, it said he was at 90, right? Okay. He's at 90. Wait, I need to make sure this is right. 3. In 3. Theoretically, theoretically, this should kill him here. Theoretically. Okay. He should be very close to death, though. Let's go. How can this be? The immortal Lester De Rosso has been defeated. Let's go. And we got a Mega Elixir from that. Whew, we love to see it. We love those. Okay, we got the Vampire Asterisk. Okay, what does this do? Absorb stats and abilities when attacking. Learns abilities of monsters. Okay. That's cool. Not Probably not going to use it, so. I, I like the setup I have going now. I am now. a man of my word. Behold, the final painting. It is the angel descended from the heavens during my final battle against Yuliana. An angel? When we last did battle 1800 years ago, the battle raged 100 days. The mountains of Norende rent asunder. Knowing the battle was reaching its end, I mustered the last of my strength 
to cast my greatest of spells. As my final attack surged forth, the angel did descend from the skies over Norende. Are you sure it was an angel? Verily so, for there are no other words to describe her. For a moment, Yolyana and I stood captivated. Before we realized it, our struggle was forgotten. We both tended to the angel, but the angel lost her light. Her wings were shattered and her body torn asunder. There seemed little hope she would live. When she came to her senses, she trembled with fear. Yet with little remaining strength in her body, she made unto us an appeal. What appeal? Here she passed from this world. She slipped in and out of consciousness over many a day. In between ever-growing periods of unconsciousness, it was all she could do to mutter incoherently. A trap most vile, such a fool am I, the warriors of light, if it's not too late. These she would repeat over and over. When she did come to her senses, she would speak of the calamity that had befallen her. She spoke of how Luxendark was on the brink of doom, and spoke with precision of the events that has heralded its coming. She herself was surprised to find that she knew of details of our past, and events of the future as well. The struggle between the old faith and orthodoxy, the tragedy that would befall my family, my immortality, even events of the distant future. The distant future? Yes, for the angel spoke of events that have not come to pass even now. Events that await you in your future. She told of a bringer of evil who would appear in the guise of one friendly to the Vestals and seduce them into unleashing chaos in the name of awakening the crystals. This evil one would destroy Luxendark by piercing the boundary that protects this world, and the opening of a great rift that sunders the earth shall herald its coming. The Great Chasm! The angel told of many other omens ere the Great Chasm would open. The light of earth shall raise up the north, and a deathly plague shall cover all the lands. Then shall a great rift rend the earth. She then entrusted me with a certain task, one that only an immortal such as I could fulfill. What sort of task could only an immortal fulfill? That I cannot say, for she swore me to secrecy. But thereupon she quietly passed from this world. For three days and three nights, my former mortal enemy Yolyana and I spoke of what had transpired. Ultimately, we vowed to join forces to prepare for the coming doom of which the angel had foretold. Okay. So, um... Um, take what you will from that entire conversation. Lord De Rosso, there is one last matter I fail to understand. Why Yulyana and I forgave the Rebel Templar, even rendering him aid? Yes. Yulyana and I conspired in a masquerade. He rose through the Orthodoxy's ranks for vanquishing me, and I went into hiding. That was when the first of the Angel's Omens came to be. The land's ringing Eternia began to rise. While the second omen, the Plague, had not yet come to pass, we continued to watch over the Crystals and the Orthodoxy. So did 1,700 years pass in relative peace, save for a handful of suspicious crises surrounding the Crystals. It was not till 30 years ago that the omens returned as if out of legend. First, the land's ringing Eternia began to rise once more. Ten years later, the Great Plague struck, whereupon I knew the Great Chasm was coming. It was then that we began our preparations to strike. It was evident from this series of events that the Crystals were involved in some manner. Before the appearance of the Great Chasm, we would assault the temples and seize the Crystals. We readied our forces for this plan. I entrusted the task to the Templar, a former cleric of the Orthodoxy. He was also to lead the newly mustered host. <gasps> While far from infallible, that was the best response I could manage for the coming of the Great Chasm. But I was soon faced with another problem, for the Orthodoxy began conspiring to hold the Grand Ritual in a bid to regain authority. The Grand Ritual? But that is forbidden! 
It raises the energy long accumulated within a crystal to a cataclysmic level. Indeed. And the Templar feared the heavy toll it would exact upon the crystal. He counseled us to dispatch our forces to the Head Temple with the greatest of haste. Were we to overlook the grand ritual and focus upon the coming Great Chasm? Or was the ritual the event that would bring upon the chasm? To wait or attack? The Templar and I could not agree. And so it was. He alone decided to lead a great host against the Head Temple and the Temple of the Crystal. That is why my father did what he did? As I have said before, the Templar is not the sort to send troops into battle over private matters, be they concerned with his wife or not. We threw our backing behind the Templar-led forces. Forever did we believe in his tireless resolve and action. And though the one we backed is the one you have defeated, that is perhaps but a small link in the great chain of events of which the angel foretold. Okay. So I'm not gonna say anything, because I kind of know where this story goes, but, um... Take what you will from that. If, for some reason, this is your first time watching this entire game ever, and don't know the stories and don't want to get spoiled... I'm not gonna say anything, just in case. Um, but take what you will from <clears throat> that entire conversation. Really, like, if you know the plot and you listen to all that, you're like, oh, of course. Um, if you don't know the plot, you don't know what happens, then that might be a little like, oh, okay, I don't really know what's going on, but that should have given you a pretty large clue on, on what is going to go on. Okay, so that was kind of what I wanted to do. Now, I think we have just a few more small fights left, and we have... Then the crystals left, so um, I'm gonna try to seek out these last couple fights. Like, there's a blue fight in here, but I just can't seem to find it. Okay, so we are now here at the Earth Temple. So, this is technically the first crystal we're getting, so I don't know what they're gonna say or do. But let's go ahead and give it another save here. For, if for some reason I somehow die, I don't see how that could happen, but if it happens. Look! The crystal has reverted to its pre-awakened state. Do you know the cause of this, Airy? The crystals have never been awakened before, so I knew it this too. But you are a crist fairy, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I know everything. Should we perform the rite of awakening? I think so. Wait, something looks. Ah, uh, that's Gigas Lich! So the creature is back as well. We'll just have to defeat them again. Yes. Let's go ahead and defeat this guy. Shouldn't be too hard. He was a pushover the first time. He'll be a pushover the second time, too. This is default on everyone here. Okay, that literally did nothing. Yeah, this guy's weak. He won't... He won't cause us too much trouble. Okay, that hurt a little bit, but not that much. Go ahead and do three pressure points here. Let's do three pressure points with Tiz too. Oh, and let's just do an attack too. Okay, we'll do Kiraga with him. And then this is the Earth Temple. So, I don't even think there's anything that I can hit this with. So let's just hit it with Thundaga here. Okay, so each of these... So that was about... 30, about 60k there, 60k worth of damage, okay, so let's just go ahead and do a Kirada, keep everyone topped off, and default again, fear, okay, that, that, that's not that really that big of an issue, honestly, negative power, not that big of an issue again, let's just default, and um, you know what, we could even hit it with a Thundaga, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Not too bad, not too bad. More negative power. Let's go ahead and default. Do another Kirada here. Default seems like the dread is over. Okay, Adia is dead here, but that's okay. More negative power. It's default. Um, let's go ahead and just do an Arise for Adia. 
And we'll be good on that end. Okay, more negative power. Default, default. Kiraga. Then the default. Okay, that doesn't hurt anyone that bad. Okay, let's go ahead and brave three times. Do three of those. Okay, let's get three more pressure points going. And I think it should be dead here. I don't see it surviving these three attacks. If it is, I'd be very surprised. There we go. Easy. Yep. Not too bad, not too bad. was rough. I don't remember that being as hard last time. Ugh. Uh, Hurry up and awaken the crystal before we are beset by more beasts! Of course. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready, Eri. I know you've done this four times already. Mm, skip. Time to get started, Agnes. Yes. So, just so you guys know, the reason Ari keeps saying that is because once she says stop, stop praying, I can actually keep praying to destroy the crystal for um, an alternate ending. So just if you guys are wondering, why do they keep asking for the explanation? Because I can actually get a different ending if I just choose to explode the crystal. Not yet! Just a little longer! <laughs> but obviously I'm not going to do that. I'm going to follow the normal ending. Are you okay, Agnes? Yes. I am used to it now. I need a short rest, but then we should head to the next temple. Okay. Alright, next temple we go. Like I said, we're gonna try to bang these out. Party chat. Inevitability. This world, it's different from the previous one, but in subtle ways. Yes, and it's not simply a matter of going back in time or a lapse in memory. It's the same world, and yet it's different. Events in this world are happening just a bit differently than the world we've seen. And the ladies here are different too. That suits me fine, keeps things fresh and exciting. I pity your person I pity your personality hasn't changed too. This world does differ ever so slightly from the last one. But why do you suppose a great chasm is in the exact same place? But why does Narende Village have to be swallowed up every time? Now that you meant to mention it, that is strange. I know, maybe someone or something is out to get you, Tiz. Please, Adia. Don't make me out mo to, to be more than I am. Perhaps Narendra Village holds some secret we have yet to fathom. Who knows, but I have a feeling you're not far off the mark. So the opening of the Great Chasm is inevitable. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh... This is a secret shortcut. Cool. Yeah, like, um... Whatever it's called when the storyline is a little messed up. Why is that open? It wasn't open in the other world. We have to get Eagle for that. Why is that open? Anyway, let's just go ahead and defeat this next crystal. Look, this crystal. Should we perform the? I think. So. Okay, a lot of the. Another creature. Okay, a lot of the same dialogue here. This one should be easy as well. Let's go ahead and default. 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 We should be good. That's fine. You could suck that. Heart suck, that's okay. Well, that's a little annoying because I need her to do her thing, but that's alright. Okay. That's okay. Let's default again. Transform. Default one more time because it's going to let out a big energy burst here. Okay, and we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to do three pressure points here and an attack. Three pressure points. And an attack. We're gonna do a Kiraga. And I forgot what this thing is weak against. 
This is the... So let's do maybe some blizzards. Let's see if that works here. Okay. That's 20,000, 30,000, so around 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, so around 60,000 at the moment. Ooh, that's a lot. So that's 58,000, 56, so it's around 55, 57, 59. Let's just round it and say about 60. Okay, so around 60,000 right now. And we can uh, default here. Okay, that's perfect. So we're 60,000 right now. Let's just keep defaulting. We basically just need to get Tiz and Anya separately. And then this is an easy fight. Not much of an issue. Again, we're a little over-leveled, but hey, that's fine. I don't even know how much HP this thing has, but can't have that much. Okay, transforms. We want to default again here. It's going to let out another energy burst. Okay, let's just do the same thing here. Three more pressure points. Do a Kiraga. Then why don't we do some darkness? Maybe this will hit it with a little bit of oomph. Okay. We just needed ten more thousand. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. We didn't even need as much as I thought we did. Hurry up and awaken the of course. Okay. We awaken another crystal. I'm ready, Ari. I'm sure you have the hang of it, but if Um, no, let's just skip Time the explanation. Yes. Again, I can break the crystal to get an alternate ending, but I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna follow the standard. I'm going hard on this butt right now. Come on, let, let me keep mashing. Let me keep mashing. No more praying. We're done. Not gonna break the crystal. You did it! You away <sighs> yes. Okay. Same same kind of repetitive repetitive okay? dialogue. Yes. I need a short rest. Oh. Yeah. I'm just gonna skip that dialogue. It's very repeating dialogue. Oh, look at your vestal garb on, yes? It's all threadbare. Huh? Oh, what should we do? It has seen a lot of use of late. Let's go and ask the sage to repair it. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Once we get two done, we need to go to the sage. So let's go ahead and um, I guess go to the sage. I'm, I'm wondering. Wait, can we go? Is that another blue check mark, RC? Is that another person I can fight? Let me. Let me quickly save. Is that another person I can fight? Because if it is, I'm gonna fight them straight up. All right, let's go in here. And I still, I still don't know what that blue marker is for up top. For the life of me, I just can't figure out what that is. But I think I can fight Adia's master. And this is what we're looking for. I'm pretty sure. Is that another person? Oh, I guess it's one of the ways we're I think if I remember correctly, the light was the correct way though. I remember correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna skip back, but I was correct, this is the correct way though. So it is this way. Okay, we can save right here. Okay, so we can save. Okay, so. Yes. <laughs> so the fire crystal has been awakened. It has all been in vain. The war we started in this realm, the deaths of both ally and foe, and the demise of the fire vestal. Do you not think so? You who resemble a disciple I once favored. Ma you introduced me to the way of the sword, Master. You taught me many things. And she's a mage now, so... About values, standards, and good and evil. It's fair to say you had a great influence on me. My father was always concerned about his work and his ideals. He found little time to spend with me. Tell me, Master. 
Were the things you told me about righteousness, strength, and bravery all lies? That we should help the helpless and face strong foes without flinching. I cannot fathom why you have lit the fires of war in this realm, causing strife to so... I still find it hard to... This is not the man I... You let sentiment cloud. You never waver in your disgust, in a way. What? Yes. There okay, are these no are all repeat lines. If you try to see the... Many are quick, but they simply use that as an... The warrior's pride is not... A... If I could act as I... The same goes for your father. Oh, don't compare her to... She fights to carry... It is... Yeah, this is all repeated dialogue. No different? You started a... If you cannot see... Do... Enough, stop it. Then there is nothing... Okay, those are all basically all repeated. Minus the, the first couple were new. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing we always do. In this case, so I'm gonna Kiraga early, because... I came from the last battle. Still basically new. I think we'll be able to finish this battle off, even with not full MP. Because we're just pretty high leveled right now, I think we'll be fine. Okay, pressure, 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 same thing. Pressure, pressure, pressure. We can default, and then we could use some dark. And I think that'll be fine. Just like that. Okay. 20k. 30k. 40k. 50k. 60k. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That's not good. Let's do an Arise on Adia. Yeah, Adia is slowly starting to do not a lot of damage compared to my monks, which is a little scary. Let's do a Kiraga on all. Let's do some Kiragas. So, I don't know. Maybe... D does the Black Mage fall off at the end? I don't... I'm failing to understand it here. I mean, she still does a good amount of damage, but... If anything, she actually does about the same. Because technically, the pressure takes two turns, so it's about 5k a turn. Adia does 2k, so it's not like crazy far off. Okay, let's do two pressures here. Two pressures with Tiz. And I think that'll defeat him, honestly. I think that'll defeat him. Yep. Ooh, we got the Masamian. Okay, it's a new sword. We can't use it, but it's a new sword. <laughs> <laughs> Will you hear your master? Of course. Things are all Take repeated. Time. If you do not end okay. this petty master, you too. Okay, it's all repeated. Master. Those are all repeated lines. <laughs> Don't need to hear them. Okay. Let's jump out of here. Zoink. And again, I still want to find. I want to find that blue fight inside Central. What is it, Central Command or whatever it's called? But I just can't seem to find it. I don't know where it's at in there. All other blue fights are taken care of. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna end the episode off here, and then next episode we'll go to Yovana and do the last two crystals, and then I still. What is this? The Melodist's Shirt. I don't know what that is, but I want to know what that is. It's only 26 minutes left on it. Um, but I guess we'll, we'll have... We'll, I gotta be patient. It's like 2 in the morning now. I need to get up early tomorrow, so I'm gonna save and I'm gonna get off. Guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment and support the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.